What is up guys, Nintendo here once again, and it is time for a video response. I haven't done one of those in a while, but Michael B. the Game Genie has been doing a Top 3 Tuesday, and uh, if you don't know who Michael B., Michael B. the Game Genie is, he's got a very good channel, uh, all kinds of like reviews, he used to do an NES thing where he would uh, show all the NES games that he got, but he hasn't done that in a while, but he does cool playthroughs, and he just seems like he generally is a cool guy. And uh, he's obviously got a really good passion for gaming. But anyways, he decided to take up the reins on uh, somebody else's old project, which was Top 3 Tuesday. We won't get into that. But uh, he is doing Top 3 Tuesday, and uh, this time it was on imports. What are your top three favorite imports? And uh, I've got a quick video for you guys here. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Uh, but for the first one we've got here, we're going to do it backwards. We're going to go 3, 2, 1. Uh, this third one is kind of like a rotating favorite of mine. Uh, it's kind of like my newest import, or just the one I've been playing the most. I, it could have been Psycho Dream on Super Famicom. It could have been uh, East One on Famicom. I've been playing that quite a bit lately. There's uh, Pop and Twin B on Super Famicom. There's a lot of imports that I really do like. But right now, I just got this one recently, Master of Darkness for the uh, Master System, and this is a European only. And uh, basically, it's Castlevania clone. Now, this was released on the Game Gear. However, on the Game Gear, you know, it doesn't look quite as good. It's not exactly the same. This is the way to play it. And especially because I have the power base converter, I can plug that into my uh, into my Retron 5 and play this in HD. And uh, yeah, this game's really cool. Castlevania clone. You start out with, like, basically a toothpick. I mean, I guess it's a knife, but it's got the range of a toothpick. And then you can upgrade your weapon and get, like, a sword and stuff. And, uh... It's really cool. Graphically, it looks a lot like Castlevania, and it plays very, very nicely, and it's just a great game. Master of Darkness, definitely up there. Uh, at least right now, you know, right now it's one of my favorite imports. That could change, though, as that third one kind of seems to always do. It was almost Psycho Dream for Super Famicom. That is a great platformer. Okay, for my second game, uh, I do not have the actual import of this. Uh, this is a repro of it, but uh, Sweet Home. For Famicom, uh, this is obviously for Nintendo, and it's a little bit dusty. I haven't played this in a while uh, because I beat this. I actually, when I got it, I could not stop playing it. It's so good. It's basically um, an overhead RPG. It's uh, kind of Dragon Warrior-ish, but it's it's like a survival horror game that's an RPG, and it's so freaking good. You have multiple characters. Each one has one item that they can use, and uh, you have parties, uh, multiple parties, and you can have, like, two parties at once, and you go through this crazy mansion trying to uncover these paintings and this horrific story, and there's definitely a reason this did not come out in the U.S. It's pretty damn dark. So worth beating. Oh, my God. Notice it's a Capcom game. It's got excellent music. The gameplay is excellent. It's a very addictive game, uh, though at the same time it's a bit daunting. There are things about it that just make it crazy hard, but at the same time totally worth finishing. Uh, it's not totally too hard, but there are a lot of things to keep in mind, uh, such as like where one party is and where your other party is. You don't want to keep them like too far apart, and which person has which item, and yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Sweet Home is definitely definitely an amazing game and probably oh man yeah definitely my number two favorite import my number one favorite import though oh man i have not beaten this one yet though i'm in the middle of it front mission on super famicom now before you go rushing out and buying this this is a uh, tactical rpg before you go rushing out and buying this there is a problem with this copy uh not so much this copy but i cannot get the uh, translation to work for this game. Not sure why. There's an official translation on romhacking.net, and I know it's the one that they use for the repro, and for some reason I can't get it to work. But that is why I have this. I have a repro of Front Mission because this game is so good. Keep in mind, I did play this before I owned this and knew it was good because there is a DS version of Front Mission, but uh, I like to play things full screen. Um, and plus, it's in HD on the Retron, like I said. This does play on my Retron. It's weird, though. It's one of those carts that it does not recognize, but it will play. And uh, Front Mission is a tactical RPG, isometric view, where you have mechs that are incredibly highly customizable. Everything from shoulder cannons to your legs to a backpack to a CPU. I mean, there's just tons of parts on your mech. And so it takes like 10, 15 minutes to just equip one mech and you have like multiple, multiple mechs and uh, if you like 
item customization and you like organizing things and you're OCD, you will love Front Mission. It's so, so good. The battles between the robots and the mechs are just freaking amazing. The graphics are awesome. The music's awesome. The story's great. I'm about halfway through it, and I just absolutely love it. So that's it. Those are my three favorite imports. We've got Front Mission at number one, Sweet Home at number two, and Master of Darkness at number three. Um, all of these can be found fairly easily. Uh, this is definitely the cheapest if you want to just risk it and see if the patch works for you. For some reason, it does not work for me. But this cart was like seven bucks shipped from Japan. Uh, Sweet Home is more expensive on Famicom, so this is actually one I suggest you repro. Master of Darkness is going to cost you about fifty dollars or so, uh, maybe fifty to sixty, but it's totally worth it. Really good game. So that's it. Go check out Michael B. the Game Genie's Top Three Tuesday for imports, and go check out his other ones. He did one for Schmups. He did one for three games that were left off of the NES Classic Mini, and uh, he's going to do more. All kinds of people do responses, so you can literally just search Top 3 Tuesday Imports, for example, and get a bunch of people doing responses to this video. So thank you very much for that, Michael B. It's really cool to see somebody kind of pushing the community aspect of retro gaming again in YouTube. I really love that. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Be sure to check that out. Give a like. Go ahead and subscribe. You're already here. That'd be awesome. Thank you very much for watching, and keep rocking the retro games.